going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Brayden Timmons and today in this video I want to talk about a couple things. One, I want to talk about the leaked video that was released a couple days ago of Lonnie Lamb running from what appeared to be Michael Myers. I'm not going to play the video here. It's somewhere online. I, for whatever reason, just can't find the link. A couple other YouTubers did videos on it. Uh, and it, I just want to talk about where it could potentially be in the film. Some people are saying it's going to be right in the beginning uh, or whenever Lonnie comes into the movie, obviously. Uh, we will see that scene. Um, but yeah, ultimately there was a video the other day that was leaked of Lonnie Lamb running and it appeared to be away from Michael Myers. But I had seen a couple other videos of people talking about where this is going to be at, like if it's earlier in the night, because I feel like Michael would have had bullet wounds and stuff like that if um, he had been shot six times. He looked a little bit more stable. Now, of course, we all know that Michael's human, but he's not, is he really human, according to Dr. Loomis. So it makes me wonder where that's going to take place. And it, I've um, soaked in that question by watching a couple other videos. Uh, the most recent one I could think of is Dave McRae. Uh, I think that he does a really great job covering Halloween content. So if you guys want to watch a really good video, you can go watch him or Wolfman's Got Nards. He has a video up covering that as well. But what I want to talk about the most is I want to talk about Halloween Kills returning to Haddonfield Memorial Hospital. That is something that a lot of fans have been theorizing over the course of God knows how long. I think it was since Halloween 2018 hit the theaters last year where the potential sequel was going to go, where Lori Allison and Karen were all heading to. And I'm thinking it's going to be Haddonfield Memorial. They're obviously going to go right to the hospital because remember, Haddonfield is a small condensed town. And although it looked a little bit larger after obviously the course of 40 years in Halloween 2018, the hospital that they're showing definitely looks like an updated version of Haddonfield Memorial. Um, now, again, this is, to be fair, this is a completely new hospital than um, 1981's Halloween 2, directed by Rick Rosenthal, and that's because Halloween 2 does not exist in this timeline. In this timeline, this is the first time that we are going to be at Haddonfield Memorial, and this is something that, I mean, to be fair, is very hard to, uh, to spoil. Uh, it, it, it's, or it's not very hard to spoil, excuse me, I, I meant to reverse that. This is something that is very easy to spoil because when you have a building that legit says Haddonfield Memorial Hospital on it, someone is bound to take a picture of it. Someone is bound to be out just walking around and they're like, oh shit, it's Haddonfield Memorial. And even Ryan Turek just uh, posted on Instagram saying that this has been something that's been very hard to keep under wraps. Because it is. I mean, it's literally across this giant building. So my source here is Bloody Disgusting, and it says Halloween Kills will return to the Haddonfield Memorial Hospital. Bloody Disgusting reader Mike M. has been creeping online for behind-the-scenes footage from the ongoing production of Halloween Kills and came across some beauties, including this gem of Michael Myers' alleged... Oh, wait, maybe it's in this link. Maybe it is in this link, so... But you guys already know that Michael Myers is supposedly chasing Lonnie. So that's in this article right here that I'm reading. But in a potential flashback sequence as we are as the below shot of the exterior of Haddonfield Memorial Hospital. While the cast has already been confirmed a return of several key players from John Carpenter's Halloween, this is the first time we're getting confirmation that one of the film settings will be Haddonfield Memorial Hospital, which I teased back in August on Twitter. Just as a refresher, the hospital is the main setting for Rick Rosenthal directed Halloween 2, 1981. David Gordon Green's Halloween 2018 was soaked with nostalgia, and it looks like Halloween Kills is really going to embrace it all the way down. Um, this is interesting, guys, because I have no idea what, where they're going to utilize this in the story. Uh, I wonder if they're going to go as far as, you know, having a shot of, like, you know, Michael walking down the town and everything like that, and it says Haddonfield Memorial with the arrow pointing um, in the in that direction, and have him walking to the hospital. That would be interesting. I mean, it would kind of be just like Halloween 2. This, I'm hoping to see a little bit more originality with it. Uh, Halloween 2018, obviously, they paid homage to a lot of different Halloween films that exist in the current franchise, um, and I, I just... 
I, I want to see a little bit more originality. I don't want to see things that I, you may have seen before. And remember, I also, and I've said this in a lot of different Halloween videos, I also want to see them utilize the shape a lot more. Make him, make him scary. Make him unknown again. And that's the, just a couple things I want to see in Halloween Kills. But it looks like we are returning to Haddonfield Memorial, and that's pretty exciting. So with that being said, guys, post your guys' comments down below. Let me know what do you guys think of them returning to Haddonfield Memorial Hospital. Are you guys excited to see the return of it? Whatever your guys' thoughts are, comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you guys like this, don't forget to join me on my journey to 5,000 subscribers, and I will see you guys in my next video.